Good morning. I'm back with another floss tube. I'm Dawn or Chanting Stitching. Grab your coffee or your tea or whatever you want to drink. <laughs> another sip. This is going to be a short video and I'm not doing any editing because I've got things I need to do. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Okay, so, oh, floss tube is where I, stop rocking, I talk about my cross stitching, sometimes other crafty stuff. This week, I got some stitching done. I was doing good, and then this other project took over, but for the month of May, I did 3,000, I mean, 36,000. 473 stitches all in all, according to the Notion app. Some of those were tent, and for me, that's okay. Okay, so, first whip I'm going to pull out to show you that I worked on was Astrology Cat. It's the Hade Sal. For 2024 you cannot join in now it was only open for a limited time you had 10 patterns to choose from I picked this one if I get four pages done then um, I will win all of all of the patterns that were offered for the sale if I get the whole thing done I will win all those patterns and my choice of two free patterns. So yes, I'm going for that. I'm not doing editing, so I'm not going to be posting where I was. But I worked here. I finished this page and started the other page. So I'm in the last page and on page four. So as long as I finish this page, I will get all ten patterns. And I think it's looking great. I'm doing this on 28 count, two over one tent. I did a thousand and three hundred. All in all, I would like to pick this up this week and get another thousand in. Okay, stop rocking. This chair and me is going to fight. Okay, next. Sorry for the crinkling. I worked, or I started Halloween Parade by Pinker and Pumpkin. This is a free pattern. You just go to her site, and she has so many, and so many are cute. Um, I want to get some more work on it this week. It's a small, it's got like 2,000 stitches, I think it was. So, I would like to get it done. Now, I went to start the dragon on this. The Celtic dragon. That Stitching by the Shore, Laura from Stitching by the Shore is also doing. When I did the measurements, I thought this was 18 count. It's not. Because it's not, it's not big enough unless I have just a half inch border. So I cannot do it on this. So I'm going back to the drawing board on that one. I might buy myself some orange and yellow dyes so I can dye my own. Okay. I only got 250 stitches on the Halloween parade. All right. Then, I started... Oh, do I have the picture pulled up? No, I do not. Let me go to the, get the picture for it. I did start my second Chatelaine which is butterfly lace. 
Now I am subbing out and this is the computer generated. But that's butterfly lace. That's it on white fabric. I am subbing out the various silks because I'm trying to make it as cheap as it can be. And we all know chatelaines are not cheap at all. So I'm using what I have. There is one Gloriana that I really, really wanted. And I actually had two skeins in my fairy flower garden. So I started it with that and that's this one here. Look at that thread. It is gorgeous. It goes from a dark teal to a dark emerald green. Yeah. But this is what I got done. Oops. I did work the center. Then I started this and this and this. Kept on going out and about. You know what? I got it sideways. No, I had it right. Okay. And I worked my way out. Yeah, right here's the top. Okay. To this butterfly. Butterfly lace has a ton of over one stitching. All the butterflies are over one. So, I wanted to get started on one of those as I'm working my way out. By the time I get all the way out, I want this whole side of butterflies being done. But I am working in, doing one color, making my way around. I will work on this some more this week. It was hard to put down. So, got that. I'm working on it this week. Yep. Then I have also been working on, let me get this down. Okay. On my little needle minders. I've been working on my, what I'm calling Raven's Spooky Alphabet. This is a mashup of multiple patterns. Um, and I got this idea from Gayron Stitchery. This is a picture of theirs. That's the inspiration of mine. But I'm using Raven from it. So, I worked on the books, the candle, the raven, and on the alphabet. I'm just starting the eye that goes right here, and it will go up. And then after I get the eye done, I can get the A, the C, and the D in. And I'm just going to keep working across. I am loving how this is turning out. Loving it. I'm going to give myself a couple of days of not stitching on that just so I don't get burned out. But I plan on picking it up again this week and keep going my 200 stitches. And let's see, I got... Nine nine hundred and forty stitches in all on that one. That was also my mania piece, and I made it twenty four days working on it. So I made it. Yes. Then I worked on the Delia Aquarium by Lola Crow. So. I was working on this and I know all the counting here is right and I was going up 
and I counted about six times. And this part was down here. Yeah. So I counted and it matched up with what was over here. It, it was at the right height. So I frogged all this out, redid it, and I only had to go up like there and up. And now I'm working my way across. <sighs> I want to get a thousand or two thousand stitches this week on this one. I need two thousand stitches so I can finish this, finish the first one, which is Hidden Horror. There is another release. I don't have it on my iPad. But that's the eel that I'm working on. I want to get the eel done. And all of the 310 done. And then if each week I take and do a little bit of the, the frame it'd be fine. Then I started Moonstone and I started this one with two friends of mine, Rebecca and Bridget. We're doing Moon, I'm doing Moonstone. They're doing Seascape. I wanted to do one I already have. Not buying patterns as much. I'm trying my best. So that is Moonstone by Carol Manning. I'm doing the big one. Later on, I might do the smaller ones just because they're pretty. I'm doing this on 18 count easy grid fabric. First day, I just got 200. Yesterday, I got 400. I want to do a uh, 1,000 this week on it. So I think today I'm going to keep working on it and I want to get 1,000. And my goal is 5000 for the month. I did $600 uh, last week, over the last two days. So that put me at sixteen. Okay, I do 1100 Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I want to do some shout-out. Stitching Addicted shouted me out. As y'all know, we're doing a couple of projects together. One I have not worked on in forever, and I think she's done. That's Greta Goldbroom. We're doing the uh, Halloween Village together. Hers is looking fabulous. I so need to work on it more, but I've got so much stuff I want to work on. It's crazy. Um, Sit and Stitch, she shouted me out. I just watched her video. She's a newer uh, floss tuber. She's got some gorgeous whips, and her son is adorable. Always like watching adorable kids. But on my Stephen King house, and I plan on working on that. Maybe this week I'll get a little bit of work on it. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I want to work on. But we're going to work, I'm going to work on the, the carry room. And as I'm working on it, I'm going to be listening to the book. So she's going to join us in reading. She's not doing the whip, but she's going to join in and in read with us. Then Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. Denise does not live that far from me. I'm in Concord. She's in Charlotte. I am less than three miles from Charlotte, <laughs> from the border of Charlotte. So we live pretty close. And she was talking how it was raining here and sunny there. And it's like, yep, that's North Carolina for you. I have literally seen it rain in the front yard and not in our backyard. Don't last for long. It always moves, but go figure. 
But yes, she has some gorgeous. Her Charlotte. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I cannot wait to see it fully finished. Okay. Charlotte by Mirabilia. So those are my three shout outs for this week. I'm over 900 subscribers now. I'm at 914. Thank you for all the new people that have joined me. I want to get to 1,000. So help me get to 1,000 people. Um, let's see. There's nothing really to mark on my boards this week, so I'm not even going to do them. Happy Meal. Okay. Friends, spoil me. Let's just say that. So, and I can't say their names because I forgot to ask. And, yeah, y'all know that's not nice. All right, so yeah, it's a big box. All right, so she sent me Royal threads to test out. I'm always happy to test out threads. You know, I, I can use them. A bookmark, which I can so use bookmarks because there are readers in my family that would appreciate them. A needle holder, and I need this bad. Then Another bookmark. Uh, let me get these. Okay. Little patterns. One of Holly. Poinsettia. A gold. Is this the gold finch? I think this is the gold finch. And of course, it don't say. But it's beautiful regardless. Blue Jay, which I absolutely love Blue Jays. They're gorgeous. And some butterflies. Can't wait to get those done. Then, the Marilyn Foslin pattern. Uh, yes, please. Pansy in profusion. This is Leisure's art. It does not say the artist. But can't wait. Then some magazines. Country Stitcher. Lots of Christmas. Angels. And now the books or patterns. This is my favorite. There are so many patterns in here I want to do. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Look at the lighthouses. Look at the little boats. Seashells. Ship. Yeah. Tons. I want to do that for me. My daughter. My son, my son, my daughter, for me. There's all kinds of patterns on here I want to do. Love it. And look, see? See those? Yeah. There's a reason. Yeah. Two, like that. And... Three with adorable kitty cats on them. Two green ones. Two red ones. Oh, 
Here's another kitty cat. Then one, two. I won't put dolphins on these. Yeah. And last one. All those are so much fun. Okay, then she sent me oh more bookmarks and they have little patterns on them with them of roses which yes please then she sent me one see, okay that's even wing two three fabrics to dye yes i'm going to dye them and i'm going to have so much fun with it and then i'm going to send part back to her so we'll have some of the same colors to match up different patterns we can do together then she also sent me some 22 count which i'm also going to dye and 28 count even weave i'm also going to dye I cannot wait. That's a lot in that box. There was a lot. Then another friend of mine, and of course I forgot to ask. Come on. She went to a retreat recently and got these off the freebie table. She knows how I love Have. So she got me this Christmas one. Isn't that adorable? I don't know if this one's still up there on the side or not. It's All I Want for Christmas is You by Tara Lesser. Lesher. Cannot wait. Another one. Okay, so I want to start this. As I'm going through my fabrics, I'm going to be looking for a piece of fabric this size. It's a mini, which is in Crohn's. It's 13 by 10. I might have a piece to fit it. But look at it. It's by Jane Woodster Scott. I probably would cut off part of the sky. Cut it to about right here. Just over the tree there. Oh, there's a moon poking out there. Okay, there's a moon poking out. Yeah. Go right over the moon. But, I mean, I love all the kids in different Halloween costumes and everything. I so want to do that. Then, she had mentioned she was going, she was wanting to find a new home for this pattern. And I saw it and it's been on my wish list. And then they took it off and retired it. <sighs> but she gave it to me. I offered to buy it, but she gave it to me. Summer queen. I'm a summer baby. So, yeah. I wanted the summer queen. <sighs> now I got to work on getting the others. I want to buy Winter Queen before it goes off the market. So, probably this month. But, during the retreat she went to, there was also a store going out of business. Which is sad. But she bought me two of the beads I'm going to need. Yeah, she's going to get something in the mail. Both of them are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, that's all my mail. I do have a tiny bit of stuff coming in the mail, but it's not here yet. Yeah. Okay, then, let's see. That's it. Okay, why my stitching just... 
Okay. Just went to a standstill. I've been wanting to quilt, but my craft room was insane. It started when the kids were here and we were going through things, finding them things to do. And then it was like, yeah, no more. And then just little things here and there. It just, it was driving me insane. And I was talking to Addie about it and all. And she's like, she suggested Jennifer Maker and how she will take you through re cleaning up and organizing your craft room. So I started doing that, but then I jumped in 110% Friday because Lisa was like, well, if you want to do anything, if we pack up all your stuff, we can rearrange the way you want and everything. So Friday, I'll try and stop walking, sorry. Um, I wanted to rearrange. The layout made me claustrophobic. And I wanted to clean it up in there overall. The desk, here, let me get this off my legs, the box. Because that's what's, oops, sorry. Okay, there. Oh, much better. So, my desk is something Lisa got from her parents, which are both gone. And the top of it was, it was more in the way than helpful, if that makes any sense. And I wanted to get rid of it, but I did not want to ask her to get rid of something that was her parents since they're both gone. But she's like, I hate it. Let's get rid of the whole desk. And it's like, no, I like the bottom. I hate the top. <laughs> so we got rid of it and we rearranged everything to where it does not feel as claustrophobic to me. And then, because we had just piled everything and I asked her, where do you want me to pile it? I don't want to pack it up for, for a long time. Just short time. She said, the living room. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I got a lot of stuff in my craft room. She's like, yes. Because that way it'd be easier for me to take in my chair back into my craft room. So we took everything out. We wiped everything down, furniture polish, swept, mop, all the happy-go-lucky stuff that it needed in there. Then I slowly started bringing stuff back in. It's all out of the living room. It's all back in there. I still have a tote, a medium-sized tote still that I need to go through. But before I can do it, some things in the mill need to come. Yeah then I can work on it. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, I've got all my fabrics sorted by yardage, half yards, quarter yards, scraps. The scraps I want to use up and make Cut them into uniform pieces so I can make a scrap quilt. Um, the ones that I can make a hexagon quilt, I want to do that. So I know what I'm going to do with them. And then if I can't use the scraps, I'm tossing it. I still need to reorganize my sewing cabinet. And... The back quarters I want to organize into a rainbow of colors. Then 
once I, I've gone through everything and I have like all the fabric sorted, I want to do it in a rainbow and color code them somewhat. And once I'm done with all that and I'm done hanging all my fabrics on my rack, all my fabric, Ada's cross stitch fabrics, then it's done. I, I've also started making a master set of flosses and I went through all of my hay, my hay all my full coverage, period. But I found one or two that I missed. And I've taken out the floss. I'm making a master set. Recording it on my Notion app. That I've got one in my master set. And then however many more I have in my backup set. So it's more economical for me. Only projects I will not do that with and I'm going to go through all of my whips and do that take out the flosses except for specialty flosses and beads I'm gonna leave those in there but by taking out all the flosses I know I have more than a full set okay <laughs> I know it so far there's been one color on 100% out, but I'm not done going through everything. I'm not going to break down my chatelaines or my afghan. And there was another one. I can't remember which other one. But I, I'm going to keep those kitted up because to me, it's important that all those flosses match. Really on like full coverages, unless it's a block of color, if, even if it's a different tie lot, and it's scattered all over, it does not matter. It does not matter if it's a different tie lot. Even if there's a subtle difference, it does not matter. Only time it would matter is if it's a big chunk of area and then you yes I will try my best to get the same die lot but yeah so today I've got to rest my body it hurts I'm gonna work on moonstone some and sorting out my flosses I I started with Number one, and I'm in the last part of the 900s. I think I got like eight or nine left in the 900s. And then I go to the 3000s. And I'm like, yeah. And I cannot wait. I've got all the quilts that I've started in their own containers. Um, I got one pulled out out I got a, a little bin and that's my current stitching that I need to get done in that is also Ada that I need to surge there's project bags that I've started and have not finished that's all in one bin so I've got a game plan <laughs> so to speak I'm going to make it to get it all organized and everything and I I've gone from six cubby holes to four by taking out the floss because it's shrunk it and they can all fit in there now okay I think that's everything thank you everybody for joining me and to my two special friends gifts they happy meal and after I get my craft room done I'm gonna be dying fabric and I so cannot wait I need to surge that though first um yeah 
Lots of fun stuff ahead. I cannot wait. I so cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait to get done. <sighs> but I need to go ahead and start stitching. I need to get this up. Beth still has um, the Zoom room open. Most, most of the time, there's, if it's not just me, there's others that have been joining me. And we're Zooming. So, Beth is the steadfast stitcher. She has a Facebook group called Crafting Books. So, if you want to join in, you've got to go apply to be in Crafting Books. And she will approve as long as you answer the question which is basically to make sure you're not bought, you know? But anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next week. Oh! Okay, somebody just mentioned something in the chat. And remind me, my planner. That was last week. Not much. I have not done June's yet because I've been in the cleaning spree. I am going to work on this, though. And then I will share with y'all my planner. And, yeah. So, hopefully next video I will have my June planner all set up. And I will show you how I do my planning. So, I hope everyone has a good day. I might actually do that as a short. Would y'all like to see that as a short? I've never done a short. But, I mean, just a little planning. I don't know. We'll see. Have a blessed day. I'll see y'all next week. Hit like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And help me get to a thousand. Have a blessed day, everyone.